look at this. It's your New Hampshire form of expansive vista. A wonder of its own to match the expansive vistas I've encountered elsewhere in my everlasting exploration. Heading straight across this field. This looks like the sort of thing a bobolink would like. Beautiful day. Ahead we go. And we've traversed this old field, gotten past the Cottontail Management Area Project. And now I think I see some kind of interesting signage. We're coming into an area of swales and roads. It's pretty vast for a little property. It's essentially within the city limits of Dover. But this is Dover, it's quite a city. Oh, this looks new. Um, oh, this must be something they made to traverse the pond. beginning of the annual ice out here, who knows how many more days we'll see this frozen over. What a wonderful spot. Yes, this array of towns ringing the Great Bay estuary basically has all the ingredients. Kind of a post-urban experience where the rural experience interweaves with the urban one. The only thing that's attenuated is the suburbs. And the sign indicates a waterfowl impoundment made possible by a donation from the Duval family, partly in memory of their son Robert, who was an avid sportsman. This should be bringing us towards the beloved parking lot. Not much snow on the ground after the wildly touted nor'easter, although I did see considerable damage further south yesterday when I was down at Plum Island. that deer maybe oh look you can see the little sub snow trails of meadow mice wow this place is going to be fun to visit oh are they coming what a great season
look at this vision of vastness. You can hear the sound of a family and children off in the distance. We're kind of in the middle of 400 or so acres, I guess. Protected vastness at a New England scale. And here we are on the other side of the vastness. I think we're in good shape for finding the parking lot. There's a little statement of intent, what they're working on. Through worry over the eastern cottontail, all manner of other related and subsidiary species will similarly enjoy a respite. See these little brush piles? These things go back to the days of Aldo Leopold. I can remember making these in my father's land in the 60s. And the principle is you just heap a bunch of sticks up and it makes a truly stunning refuge, mini garrison or what have you for said cottontail. Looks like they've really made quite a few here.